Marisani Ujol when he went back for that first set shot, and I was like, if he kicks this, this is going to do such a world of good for him because it's just like a bit of a, a weight off your shoulders. And he slotted it, and you could see everyone get around him, and then on, on he went, um, gets another goal, has a great intercept mark that obviously he didn't realize. I don't think he'd yeah, actually yeah. been given the mark. Um, against Wilkie as well. Yeah, player. exactly. Against Wilkie as well. He's a very good player. Yeah. He um, actually towered Wilkie up. He yeah. ended up having nine marks which, which over is, the day. Eight or nine marks. Yeah. It's mm. it's interesting because um, from a defensive standpoint, it's one thing we speak about a bit. Like Ten Peter, Peter, Peter Wright's Ten. not... Peter Wright's not mobile defensively. Like he doesn't yeah. give you much in terms of any kind of defensive pressure or structure. Mm. Whereas, you know, and, and I'm not saying Harry Jones should replace him, obviously. Peter Wright should be in the team, but... Peter Wright wouldn't do that, or he couldn't get to that ball. Whereas mm. Harry Jones got to that ball, spoiled mm. it, and then ended up marking it. Yeah, shot and goal. Yeah, exactly. And um, I know we said it now. Oh, do we say that post match video that we did anyway? But like, there will be a point in this season when Peter Wright comes back that Goldstein and or Draper will be rested at some point. Mm. Particularly Goldstein, he will have a week off at some stage. It's not the buy. That's guaranteed. So seeing a performance like that from Jones gives you a little bit of hope that yes, when we do run. One ruck plus Peter as the the second ruck that we've still got an option up forward who's going to do some things. 